Hello dears, how are you today? I hope you are all doing good and this is the last video of this week of this series of videos about uh, irregular verbs in Brazilian Portuguese but I will continue this series next week, okay? This is video number 5 and as you already know, because I told you yesterday, we are going to talk about the verb ver today. My name is Andressa Maia and this is Falando Nisso. Okay, so as I told you yesterday, in this video we are going to talk about the verb ver which can be easily confused with the verb vir because uh, in some conjugations they sound the same so it's important that you pay attention to the conjugation to notice the difference and then you won't make mistakes about this okay so the verb vir means to see okay very simple but what is important to pay attention is that we use the verb ver meaning to watch, okay? Uh, I mean, to watch is assistir, but it's very common if you, if you we want to say, oh, I will watch a movie tonight. It's very common to say, eu vou ver um filme hoje à noite, okay? So, you could both use assistir or ver and it will be very common, it will be, it will be uh, the same, it will give the same idea, okay? Let's see the examples uh, on how to conjugate this irregular verb, the verbs ver in Brazilian Portuguese. First, the examples in the present, okay? Let's see. Eu vejo que você está se esforçando. Você vê sua família com frequência? Ele vê o que ninguém mais consegue ver. Ela vê as filhas aos fins de semana. A gente se vê quase todo dia. Nós vemos o pessoal da escola na reunião de fim de ano. Vocês sempre veem só as dificuldades. Eles só veem os avós no Natal. Elas veem as primas sempre que viajam. So, could you notice yesterday when we talked about the verb vir, in the present, like they come, is eles vêm, ok? But they see is eles vêm. So, it's like a double E sound. Pay attention to this, ok? And now we are going to see the examples on how to conjugate ver, ver <laughs> in pretérito perfeito, ok? Eu vi que você lavou a louça. Você viu que eu arrumei o quarto? Ele viu um ótimo documentário sobre a Segunda Guerra Mundial. Ela viu o professor entrar naquela sala. A gente viu um filme muito divertido ontem à noite. Nós vimos o quanto ele se dedicou a esse projeto. Vocês viram a minha chave? Eles viram tudo o que aconteceu. Elas viram a minha apresentação. So these were the sentences in pretérito perfeito. So they mean uh, só, ok? I saw, you saw. And now uh, we are going to see the examples in pretérito imperfeito, ok? Let's see. Eu via um episódio por dia. Você via o que ele fazia e não contava para ninguém. Ele via a namorada todo dia depois do trabalho. Ela via os brinquedos espalhados, mas não arrumava nada. A gente via um filme diferente toda semana. Nós não víamos aquele relacionamento com bons olhos. Vocês só viam o que queriam ver. 
eles se viam na hora do intervalo. Elas viam sempre o lado positivo das coisas. Ok? So, in these examples, uh, you could translate as used to see. Ok? Pretérito imperfeito. You already know that, right? So, that's it. I hope it was helpful for you. Don't forget to take notes and to compare. Uh, look at the conjugation of the verb vir that, you that we talked about yesterday. And now compare with the conjugation of ver. And notice the difference and also notice where they are uh, very similar. And it will help you to understand it better from now on. Okay? Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and I see you on Monday. Bye-bye.